At first glance, today's readings can seem quite harsh. In Thessalonians, we hear that the day of the Lord will come upon us like a thief in the night. And in Matthew, we hear of a landowner who leaves us with a certain number of talents and then goes away, leaving us to our own devices. But when he ultimately returns, woe to us if we haven't invested those talents and made more in the best way we possibly can. But at second glance, I would suggest that these readings aren't harsh at all. They are simply diagnoses of our human nature and our human condition. They tell us that when we fail to live boldly, when we fail to live fearlessly, even though laziness and succumbing to fear can often seem like the easy way out, that that really isn't ever the easy way out. And it is always the path that leads to our destruction. If we think about it, when we succumb to fear, when we don't practice radical honesty, doesn't it always eventually come back to bite us? And when we succumb to laziness, when we don't discipline ourselves to properly take care of ourselves, our bodies, our minds, our relationships, every single day without taking a break, doesn't that too eventually come back to bite us? These readings are simply encouragement, not only for the sweet by and by, but even for the here and now. It's Jesus' way of saying, live fearlessly, live boldly, and do so without ever taking a break and without ever compromising. Live as if the day of the Lord is coming right now, and you will live a happy, prosperous life.